Thank you. The other big story we are following today, 20 children and two adults go to the hospital. This is after a crash involving a school bus and a rumpke truck. Yeah, investigators are still working to learn exactly what happened here. Nine on your side's Tamika Artis joins us live though from High Point Health where all of those patients were initially taken to this morning. Tiki. Yeah, truly some scary moments on board that school bus this morning. We can tell you at this hour that most of the patients here have already been treated and released. That is very good news. And the director of emergency services is all but calling the fact that they all survived a miracle. And we fully expected to see life threatening injuries here. So I'm just thankful that that all of the injuries are apparently non life threatening. The pictures are unbelievable, even more so the fact that almost everyone walked away from this crash. It was just after eight o'clock this morning that a school bus carrying dozens of children rear ended a rumpke garbage truck that was stopped on Route 350 in Aurora. 20 students plus the school and truck driver were taken to High Point Health with broken bones, head and minor neck injuries. Dr. Richard Cardozi says the hospital immediately initiated a mass casualty drill, pulling all of its resources to the emergency department. We triage them, we stabilize them and we transfer the ones that we need to. That included two people with more traumatic injuries. One adult was taken to UC Medical and 13 year old Jordan Coles remains at Children's with two broken legs. But most importantly, there was no loss of life. It's just amazing because, you know, buses still don't have seat belts. All right, we can tell you that no charges have been filed against that bus driver who I'm told has been on the job for many, many years. Uh, in the meantime, we're told that investigators, they are working to figure out exactly what caused this crash. Live in Dearborn County, I'm Tamika Artis, 9 on your